Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, you're watching Lemmings to the Tribes, and we only have one level left of the Polar Tribe, so it would probably be a, uh, a touch disconcerting if I did not finish that level today. And that level is Stay Frosty. We got six minutes to Stay Frosty, my friends. We've got the Twister, we've got the Icarus Wings, which we have not used in earnest yet. I think they've appeared in a level, but we haven't used them. They've appeared in at least one, I think it was an outdoor level if i recall correctly one attractor so yeah we're gonna be using that attractor to hold back a crowd for sure for sure so yeah we're gonna we're gonna finish up polar today and move on to the scottish highlands because scotland is a country that exists independently of living land and this oh all right we are uh we are uh not well and truly closed in i don't think so we may be twisting down through here uh this may be easier than it looks actually i would i would love for that to be the case we only have four where can we go all right we have a couple of options do we have a couple of entrances okay no that's not the exit right there the exit is over here huh okay so it's gonna be very difficult to Let's see. It's going to be very difficult to make to make a glue bridge over here because that's not really how that works. It would just pour and it would just pour onto this incline and make it right angled. So, how do we want to how do we want to operate here? We want to spin down through the level somewhat. This could get this could get funky, but maybe, maybe we just want to spin downward. This, oh wow, okay. I don't really see what good, uh, I don't really see what good the wings are going to do. Unless, uh, we got ten floaters also? Floaters? Floaters? Whatever, four. Uh, I'm going to try to... All right, I'm gonna try to get this going here. Okay, that's still, we got jumpers though, it's fine. Okay, good, okay, didn't need more than one for that. So I'm gonna try twisting downward. This may be difficult to get him going straight down. Uh, no, it's not difficult at all, okay. Very good, okay, yeah, so that's, that's nice and interesting. Um, and then we would just maybe blow one this way, this way, this way. As long as we can keep it straight, as long as we can keep the twister going straight, this might be fairly simple. I don't mind... Yeah, this is... Uh, this could be fairly easy, I think. Alright. Okay, alright. And jump to stop oh can't do that so but we can just stop you by going yeah there we go a little a little bloop upward that that works and then we'll do the same thing down here and come down here hmm this could get this is where it could get dicey i'm trying to i'm trying trying to uh oh no no okay let's see straight down is what we want do not refuse to go straight down, please. Good, 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 good. Alright. Um, and then let's go down to the... Yeah, there we go. Down there. That should work, right? Spin till there's nothing. Oh, but don't go that way. No, that's the bad way. Why would you go to the left? That's... Because I was facing left. That's probably... Yeah, the rest of them will go that way, but uh, why don't we get you flying some other direction or... Yeah, I really should have made him walk to the right. But this is pretty simple, all things considered, I think. Although maybe I want to get down on top of the... Uh, maybe I want to get down on top of the igloo, actually. Well, or maybe I want to get down here. Yeah, I think I want a different path, but I think I'm... I think this is pretty simple as long as I'm careful with my twisters. Alright, let's try here instead. 
Go straight down, please. Thank you. Very good. Continue going straight down. This is a very finicky fly path I'm making for you here. So if you... Oh, hey, that... Ooh, that actually worked really well. Um, okay, so one more twister, I think. Make sure he's going out to the right. Okay, and then come this way. And then... Uh, a little bit more downward. Okay, yeah, and then I think diagonally from here is where I want to push you. Very good. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we can start blue pouring, I want to say, from here. Okay, that's not quite what I was hoping for, but that might get him up. Okay, good. Yeah, there we go. All right, and I think if I glue pour from here, I hope that makes it. Yeah, there we go. That's glorious. Okay, it's a bit of a thick little path there. That's, I think that's just barely, I think that just barely doesn't cut it, actually. Ooh, that might be a little distressing. I'm going to go ahead and flamethrower in case it runs over the exit path. It doesn't look like it does, but I'm going to see about it. Okay, good. He got in for good. So I think that does it for us. I think I can, uh, where's my attractor? There we go. And I think that is a safe path to safety. That, that got a little weird at the end, but I think they'll fall through and go to the right. At least I hope they will. At least ways I hope. Yep, that's a stun fall, as I figured. But yeah, that was pretty simple for the final level of a tribe. Just finding a good path through. I think I got a little lucky there, to be honest. So, yay! We made it through the Polar Tribe, and we have plenty of time to collect our spoils of war. We have completed our Polar Expedition, and I think we're going to get that gold medal. So, give it to me, baby. Sock it to me. There we go. Excellent. Give me that award. I crave it. I need it. I want to see that get filled in. That was a fun tribe for the most part. Uh, that first level was a little funky, but I had a really good time with the Polar Tribe uh, in general. Man, that is starting to look really nice and complete. That is, that is really resolving into a picture, is it not? All right, so here we go. We are, we are now making our way further clockwise on the map to the Highland Tribe. We're entering the Scottish Highlands here. Let's go. Let's do it. I'm pumped about it. Let's make it. Let's make it happen, Captain. So let's see. What's the, what's the first level of Scotland here? Lemmings is essentially a Scottish game. So it makes sense that there would be uh, something in tribute to that. Cream of Lemmings Soup. They're yelling it from the mountaintops. Bazookas, glue pourers, twisters. This is going to get wild. There's some, there's some pretty weird stuff happening here, but I don't think this should be... You know, I always say I don't think this should be too hard a level. Sometimes the first level of a tribe can surprise you. Cream of Lemming Soup, let's do it up. <laughs> they come out of a little barrel, that's cute. Oh, they got uh, they got nice little red hair. We got ginger lemmings going on here. That's that's fascinating. Where is our... Uh, this, is, this is some nice colorful tartan blocks we got going on here. I assume we're trying to make it to the uh, call box. This would be a very big showy exit. I don't think this flag is it. Uh, yeah, I think we're trying to make it to the phone booth here so we can turn into super limbing discreetly. Got our little, uh, got our little uh, Loch Ness monster. We're, we're hunting the Nessie and we found her. And she's wearing a nice little tam o shanter there. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's go ahead and, uh, I'm having fun with the twister so far. Let's just go ahead and, you know what, let's, let's rip roar through this. The twister can be very efficient if you know how to use it, which I think I am demonstrating proficiency at this. Well, I was. <laughs> uh, so, uh, let's, uh, let's bazooka that open. Okay, I'm a lot more proficient with the twister than I am the, uh, Wow, yeah, that's going to be pretty simple from here. All we got to do is uh, bop you down. Could have done that with one twister if I had been uh, if I had been a, just a little bit savvier with it. But uh, yeah, that was that was well, yeah. This one is really simple as first levels go, especially if you have some 
Especially if you have some twister knowledge behind your belt. There you go. Right on through and bob up gently to claim your... Oh! Oh, they get pulled into it. I was like, what are you doing walking past it? So they go, like, slightly to the right of it. And then kind of do this, uh... Back facing to the camera, a little shimmy shay here. Okay, <laughs> all right, whatever. You know, win in Scotland. I guess do as the Scots do. Uh, dance your way. You know, we're twisting by the pool. We don't need. We can still get all the information. We're never going to be out of reach. There's a call box on the beach. That's right. There is. Extended Dire Straits reference for the win. Extended dance play. So let's go ahead. Let's keep going. This is uh this is going really well so far. I'm okay. I'm liking I'm liking Highland so far. It didn't ask too much of me. I think I'm pretty I think I'm pretty handy with a twister at this point. We beasties, poor we creatures, as they were once known. Thirty jumpers. Holy moly. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be needing that many. Although maybe a f fully half of them will jump out of their circumstances. I guess we'll just see. The Fencer and the Stomper seem to be the ones to concentrate on here. We're going to be... I bet we'll be needing those, given that we only have one of each. When you, That that seems to be a real a real pay attention to this in Lemmings 2. When you see that you only have one of a task... Uh, okay, we're, we're going to make it past the little Scotty Dog here. Uh, what is this? This little picket fence over here. I wonder if the picket fence means anything. That's uh, certainly interesting. Why don't we get why don't we get filling right now? Why don't we why don't we why don't we get a brigade of fillers in on that and see what's going on with the Yeah. There we go. No reason not to. Little little bit of little bit of decoration going on up here. This doesn't seem to be terribly important to our Well, this is all steel, isn't it? So mm, maybe maybe this is not the thing to be doing. I think this is all steel. Including maybe also the fence. Okay, so we're out of here. Alright, it may be that we are platforming... Platforming up and over one... I don't think one platform will reach that. One, two, three... Well, I don't see how we would get up anyway. Except with a lot of jumping. So yeah, so we've got the fence here. Let's do a let's do a test. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and jump the fence. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hit steel here. Yep, that is steel. Okay, so it's not just as easy as going down through all this. So yeah, we probably are gonna have to find a way over the top. Uh, yeah, I thought I had it real easy there for a second. Maybe filling a hole is the way to do it. At least temporarily, but, uh, well, we have one stomper. That would certainly keep everyone at bay. But for how long and how effectively? Because if we go... Going over the top may be the key somehow, since... I think this is a two-platformer job. What would the rest of it be? Like, some... Some kind of... Some kind of fancy stacking job? I don't know. We got four stackers. Yeah, this might get a little... This might get weird before it gets... Uh, this might get weird before it gets unweird. Bunch of lemmings underneath the mistletoe. We're going to see a bunch of kissing happen here in a second. I'll censor that out for the sensitive eyes in the audience. Okay, here's my sort of preliminary idea. I'm going to get one running and jumping. We're going to need a runner jumper. All right, there we go. I think he is going to go over the top because I think what we're going to need him to do is... Okay, he's going to go bop, bop. Uh, that may be a kind of rough fall, though. Uh, that may be that may be pretty tough. Let's see, though. Uh, I think we're going to want this lemming to go ahead. I think we're going to want a fence right here. That's going to be a pretty tight fit, but I think that will get everybody out of this hole. Everybody else can walk into this hole. And then we can, uh... Okay, yeah, you hit your head, but you're gonna be okay. Runners are very resilient. They're they're among the more resilient lemmings that are out there. I love the orange and blue color combo. 
That's such a good combination on the color wheel. Oh, got up there. All right. I think we may be able to make this jump as well. Wow. Yes. Okay, now this is what I'm worried about right here. He's going to go down here. He's not going to... Is he going to curse splatter himself? No. Okay, that's good. And that's not a trap, is it? Okay, good. All right, so... Let's see... I think I know a good way to turn him around, maybe. I'm going to have him stomp. And then... Boot. And then... There we go. Jump out of the hole. And then they can fill that in on their way back. Uh, when they come out this way. But I need him to get right up against the wall. I hope this works. Oh, thank God it worked. Okay. That was... Okay. It is as simple as it looks then. That's good. But you got to be right up on that wall for it to work, I'm sure. Don't, don't hit any little... Ah, yes. You are pretty good with a foil, Mr. Runner Fencer. I like the cut of your jib. Alright, so now they're coming, and we should be able to fill in this little hole to get him to... Alright. I think now I'm really fully in the groove of this game. I think I'm starting to see things more easily as they come available. Uh, let's see. Is he... He's running way far ahead? Yeah, that's probably... Okay, why don't you... Uh, well... Yeah, why don't you fill in your own hole? This is your hole. Why don't you lie down in it? There we go. Everybody gets out just fine. Okay, good. A few turned around, but that's okay. We can fast forward them out. Another pretty simple level. There we go. Yeah, so that's not just a fancy little bit of decoration up there, is it? Yippee, indeed. All right, I think we're going to handle one more for today. We're doing, uh, we're starting off pretty solid already. Let's go on to the next one. I am, uh, I'm enjoying this tribe so far. That's, it's proving, uh, it, it may get harder as the tribes tend to do. You, uh, stop your tickling, jock, which is a lot different than stop tickling your jock, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, so this is, uh, 20 fillers, 20 jumpers, and five builders. A very limited move pool. V very interesting. Okay. Let's see. So, uh, let's, let's stop tickling our jocks and stop jock from tickling. Stop, stop your clock ticking, beat the clock. All right. Oh, oh boy. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so here we go. We're going to have to find the right combination of jumpy time. Here we go. So, fantastic. All right, let's see how this goes. So, we're going to go... I'm going to go up here to start. We'll see how that goes. Uh, let's see how the, how the progression of jumping around goes here. Okay, so I may I may need to build on. Okay, boing 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 boing. That doesn't really do much of anything. Uh, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try building over this one. Let's see. He won't hit. Will he hit the trampoline and trigger it as he's building? I hope not. Okay, no. Okay, it looks like. Okay, so. Okay, if they just hit that one. Okay, that doesn't really do much either, unfortunately. I was hoping it would get them kind of like over and onto this one. Well, how do we get them onto this one then? Do we want to... That one only gets them down onto like bop, bop, bop. So which way do we want to go here? How do we want to be building... To save our little friends. Do we want to hit a particular? Because hitting this trampoline doesn't seem to help any. I thought hitting this trampoline would get them up into here and then they'd go this way. But maybe that is the idea. Like maybe that's kind of what you want. Uh, maybe it takes. Alright, we've got fillers for the end. Ugh, this is. This is surprising and weird. Can we. Can we actually get up onto a thing from here? Maybe if we get up onto uh, this one, maybe we can have an adventure on this one. Okay, one... Okay, well, there's that. Okay. Let's try getting up onto... Okay, that just bounces them... That just bounces their heads into the ceiling. I kind of want to get up onto maybe here. 
and then build to uh, build to this one. Hmm. How do I build in a way that's going to get them onto a trampoline that's going to do what I want? That is the puzzle here, and that is what we have to be solving. Man, I do not like trampolines. I guess I like them a little more than cannons. Although that one sports level really soured me on trampolines, so I don't know. Let's see if hitting the trampoline at a certain angle helps. Okay, this might be, if like if you hit the middle of the trampoline, does it do something different than if you... Oh, wow, ooh, he sailed. Okay, and then they go here. Okay, I think hitting the trampoline at a certain angle like if i if they drop onto it at a in a certain way i think that might really change the trajectory somehow if they like if they hit the middle of the trampoline on the drop as opposed to like so let's build from like back here that still may be too close for what i want let's see okay b whoa okay Okay, now we're getting some action. Okay, here we go. Aha, there it is. The magic angle, it looks like. Okay, let's keep filling this hole in then. Okay, well, they they were doing okay. Well, they were, they were doing okay, but what happened? Two of them did really well. Um... I don't quite understand what happened there. How come it worked for a couple of them, but not for... Okay, I think I may have found it, but I think I may want to back it up just a little bit more. Because if it worked for two people, it can surely work for everybody, right? Okay, I, I think that just was my maybe a weird, like, like two people really got the height that I wanted, and two of them didn't. So, like, let's go from way back. I think this is farther back than I've gone yet. The beep oh wow okay yeah now they're now they're all okay that's more of them really say okay that's okay now now they're hitting that one weird and they're actually some of them are actually splattering which is very bad okay is there is there like a okay there must be an art to this that or I just have the wrong trampoline altogether, and it's just not going to give me what I want unless it's pixel perfect. Well, I thought I had it. Um, maybe that was just slightly too far back. Who even knows? Like, this is so weird. Okay, yeah, B, B. That's going to be too far for most of them, I do believe. Yeah, they're just going to hit on there. Yeah, unless I'm pixel perfect, this isn't going to break the internet or anything uh, am i am i doing it right though i i thought i was on to something with the with the way they hit the thing but some of them hit the way you want and then they stop hitting the way you want very very weird the way the trampolines work or don't work Okay, now it seems to be working. I think I just had to get it exactly right. So I'm going to go ahead and start filling in the pit. And I hope that works for everybody. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's working. It looks like the trampoline is sinking up the way I want. We're getting lemmings. Okay, yeah, it's, it's cycling the way I want now. So yeah, it's super ultra finicky. You just got to be... You just gotta be extraordinarily good with it. Okay. All right, so there they go. Some of them some of them got left behind a little, but I think it's going to be okay for the most part. As long as they hit the, as long as they're well enough spaced, then it works out fine. Okay, and we've got about a little less than two and a half minutes to solve this one, so. I think they're going to get in just fine. A few of them are going to get left behind for a little while longer. Two more. 
Okay, good. Okay, so I think they should hit at the right times now. So we only have two stragglers. Yeah, it's just a matter of building in the right place so that they hit the trampolines the way that the exact way that you want. That's not really puzzle solving to me. That's more of get this really fidgety mechanic exactly right. And to me, that's not a puzzle. That's that's uh we made a thing and it works sometimes but by gar we're gonna make you do it until you do it the exact way that we intended for it to happen so and i did it i did it by the by the grace of god i done did it there goes lemming number 60 into the into the phone booth so there we go we did it that's the that's the third level of highland and um Hopefully next time there's some uh, actual puzzle solving going on in this tribe. It's been uh, pretty easy so far for the most part, and I am enjoying it. Uh, but it seems like the kind of tribe we, uh, we may, cross your fingers, may just be able to rip through.